Hi, it's Nancy today. Would you like to go for a walk with me? I'll show you my my trees. So we're behind the grass hut, Sedge Meadow Teepee, where there is the snowman festival going on. But I'll take you into the woods. I have many pathways here. So let's start on uh oh, he fell over. Well, let's, which way should we start? We'll go this way. Oh my. We've got some foliage happening here. Boy, things are all falling over today. Let's see if the deer have been in here since it snowed. the right path. Yeah, I guess so. Sure doesn't look the same. What happened to the path? This isn't it. Oh my. Definitely isn't it. That's what happens when it snows. So I decided that the Streamlock Chairathon needed some shelters around the chairs. So I built a shelter here. Willem came down and helped me scoot them around and stand them upright. There we go, look at that. Now we have a nice spot to sit. we are so we can just sit here and watch the stream and we're not getting snowed on or rained on or anything behind the back of this the other half I'm gonna make it into a, a storage place for all my my basket making materials because after a while you run out of places outside or you but you fill up all your places that have roofs over them Anyway, you want to look at the stream? There are otters in this stream. Isn't it beautiful here? What a day. This would be a nice spot for a campfire. I have paths on the other side as well as on this side. So I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna close it in from about here. See, so that that goes, so there's a front wall here. And then I'll be able to put stuff in here that will, you know, that whole triangle area in there will be, will be able to be protected on both sides. And then I could store things, you know, like I could even put I don't know, I could put a shelf on the, on the wall there somewhere that, you know, for my teapot supplies for, you know, I could put my dry wood under there for lighting fires. All right, well, that's about all, I guess. I'll, oh, let's go back. I'll show you on the way back. you like a king. You got a tripod on your foot. I guess that doesn't make for very smooth. an area where there was 
water cutting through here. So I've covered it over with many boards. I guess I covered that one with a board too, but I wouldn't walk on that one yet. Need some more help. Alright, so here is the proper. I tried to line the path with trees. Some fell over and some did not. So we have a pathway coming out this way. And we have a pathway that goes through this way. And then we have, looks like a little path that way. But they also have a path along the side of the stream. Let's take this path. A lot of dead wood, you know. Not all of it. These are alders. Isn't this a nice little cozy spot here? Look where we are. I'm going to just turn around, all the way around. Boy, these trees are going to have to move. Or maybe they could just be bushes. Another one down. Another one bites the dust. These are just used Christmas trees, right? I have many hours of lots of enjoyment here. So this is all leaning down on my path. My path, mine. I could have a campfire, you know. Don't you just love that teepee? It's a grass hut. It's a brush hut or a cone, a brush cone. There's different names for it, I guess. More tamaracks. See, this is sedge meadow, but that's sedge and that's sedge, but that's canary grass. So most of it's canary grass now, and it's not that tall. It goes right along with the not much sedge here. When it gets dark, the star lights up first. Lots of casualties out here. Mmm, smells good though. It's good to put your chairs upside down like that, but you gotta go rescue them after the snow comes, or you're not gonna be using them for spring. See? Nice and dry. Perfect. I think you get frozen in. This is right on my path, you know. the deer might not come here because these trees have all been in different people's houses and so they probably have all picked up the scent of the animals in the house. So there could be dogs that have been close to these trees. So I don't think the deer feel very safe at the moment. Well, you're right over the path, aren't you? You know, making all those trees yesterday. That'll be okay till the wind blows, but I won't be here to look at it until after the wind blows. Anyway, I have a little exit here. It's very hard to find it. I keep losing it. Every time I drive along, I have to figure out where it is again. Let's walk down this pathway. 
see what the Lord hath wrought. This little pathway doesn't go all the way through, I don't think. I just had such good alders for putting bushes in, so I, I did that. Yeah, I guess I have some work to do there to get through. But see how bare it was before? Like you could just see right through everything. Whereas now, look at it. See, there's snow on every fir tree. You can't see through anymore. Isn't that awesome? Like, would you rather walk through that or that? I go for this. Plus, they smell. This one is a Fraser fir. You can tell because the the needles are not, or the branches are not in one plane. Things will go crooked. They just bend whichever way they want. It's a Fraser fir. But my, do they ever smell? Just getting near it smells. This is a spruce. See, I'm right here by the road, but I'm pretty invisible. Not fun. So I have another pathway here, but I'm going to have to walk through there when I feel like picking everything up. I want to walk over this way. Sometimes it's nice to look at the teepee from the highway. It's amazing that I'm able to make this video and it's, the battery is still on and there's room on the card. I used to make videos this way. Alright, so that was your walk in the, in the trees. And believe it or not, you can do this at home. You can build this. This didn't cost money. I had to find the materials and drive around and get them with my trailer. Especially the Christmas trees, but anyway, results may differ. How do you say that? Well, you saw it here last. You can do this at home. Results may differ. It's fun being Nancy today. We'll have another look. I should have probably started with this so you could have seen everything. We're in Canada, near Ottawa. I guess that's our largest main city. Slow down. The bridge. I saw a bald eagle overhead yesterday and I heard him and I didn't know what it was. I thought it was a raven at first because I think there was a raven there too. Boy, it's a lot windier up here than it is down there. Look at how much greenery there is. This was a field that looked like that. Except there were some alder bushes. My little property line thing, there's my survey. I'm trying to make the survey line. I'm trying to get all the way to the hill. <coughs> My little flying woman, flying dancer, ballerina. Well, that's just the nicest place ever. It's mighty cold and windy out here. I think it might be time to light a candle. But I'll put you back in the car, I guess. So 
thank you for coming to the snowman retreat. Don't you think they must like being here? I and mean, look what they get to do. They get to hang out here and guard the way. And they get to be here at the silent theater. It's not really silent because you usually end up singing when you're watching. Like shepherds and things like that. See, so that one's guy, he's standing over there by that. And this one's over here looking, he's by Pole Island. And this one over here is behind the swing, the red swing. And this is the great berm. I mean, look what happened. So we got all this snow has been thrown off by the snow plow, but it's not hitting it. I was a little worried that the snow would pile up in front of my door. Not <laughs> a great door. Oh my gosh, what an amazing place. Yeah, I think this is the best thing I've ever done. Oh, my whole life. I don't think I've ever created something as amazing as this. Other people do these sort of things a lot, right? That's the shape of the bridge at the moment. Not good. Not good at all. So, have we seen enough? I love looking at it. I love being inside and feeling it. Feeling that nice sedge on the wall, you know? It just feels so cozy. I just feel so comfortable and secure. Alright, we'll see you later. Bye. Like I said, you can do this at home. Results may differ. If you go on YouTube and look up stuff like grass hut, how to build a grass hut, or I don't know. There's these people that are called marsh Arabs. And they build everything out of the out of the reeds that are around them in the water. Incredible. Anyway, around your area and see what you've got. Sorry I didn't show you the rest of it when I was making it. But that's the way it goes. Maybe next time. Bye.